Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin. Today we're unboxing the Lenovo ThinkPad X280. Okay, so this device has a 12.5 inch display. It's supposed to be super light, super durable. All ThinkPads are tested to be shockproof and all that good stuff. Um, this was announced at CES among a ton of other ThinkPads. Um, it was actually it was ahead of CES, and then they announced the the X1 ThinkPads at CES. So I, I'm also reviewing the the X1 Carbon at the moment. This is a standard laptop form factor. Otherwise, it would be branded as a ThinkPad Yoga. All right. So let's just get this box open. Now you can see that it doesn't come in a fancy box, and there's a reason for that. ThinkPad is, or Think in general, is Lenovo's uh, business lineup. Whoops, this is upside down. It's their business lineup. So this is meant, the lack of a pretty box is meant to please IT people. They can be easily stacked on a rack. Um, and most of the time, people who use these things aren't ever going to see the box. If you go and buy, say, a Lenovo Yoga 920, it actually comes in a pretty box because that's a consumer brand. Now, we have the ThinkPad here. Let's see what else is in the box before we go any further because there is stuff in here basic box like I said um, here we have a USB type C charger right and, and the cord so one thing to note about this this should be a standard uh, 60 yeah 65 watt charger one thing to note about this is that USB type C is one of the main improvements this time around and I don't know if you've ever used Lenovo's ThinkPads, the older ones, it had a proprietary charging port that looks kind of similar in, in shape to a USB Type-A port. And what a lot of these brands are doing, and Lenovo kind of did last year with some of its ThinkPads, is that it added USB Type-C charging on top of the proprietary charging port. So businesses that had those old chargers lying around could still use them, but they could also use the new standard at the same time. So now you're seeing those same lines, and I'm not just Lenovo, HP did it with the Elite Book as well, where they're just ditching those old power ports entirely in favor of USB Type-C, which, um, I mean, I love the idea of having both, but USB Type-C is where, is where you want to be because you want to be able to use the same charger across multiple devices as well. So, if, I mean, if your business has ThinkPads and it has HP Elite Books and Dell Latitude and, and a whole bunch of other stuff, you can use the same charger to charge all of them. Okay, so this device is kind of small, okay? comes in at, at just over two and a half pounds, which is heavier than the... the ThinkPad X1 Carbon, but um, it's it's very compact as you can see. This model that they sent me should have a Core i5 8th Gen, and that was another big big feature that they upgraded in this in this uh, round is the 8th Gen processors. So these are U series 8th Gen processors. So these are quad core now. 7th Gen and previous were dual core and the U series is what you'll find in most ultra books convertibles stuff like that so those have always historically been dual core and now they're finally quad core which means um, it means quite a bit actually for a lot of different workloads um, if you use Hyper-V those extra cores will come in handy and these are ThinkPads which means that they come with Windows 10 Pro and so those extra cores could come in handy because obviously Hyper-V doesn't come with uh, Windows 10 Home. Uh, 16299.309, that's pretty good. Um, 8 gigs of RAM, there should be 512 gigs of storage in here. All right, and um, yeah, I mean, it's a really nice machine. It seems like kind of a, kind of a mini ThinkPad X1 Carbon, and the, the hinge goes 180 degrees, which is pretty standard for Lenovo stuff. Um, we can see there's um, a privacy guard in the camera. So the webcam works, and then you just flip this over, and it's closed. This is something that we're seeing a lot in in new, especially business laptops, but really just uh, devices in general, because normally a lot of people would put, say, a Post-it over the webcam, and now um, you're not having to do that anymore. Lenovo did this. Uh, Huawei's got one where it 
it uh, hides the camera in the keyboard between the F6 and F7 function keys. You know, and um, so yeah, that that's becoming a, a very popular feature, especially in uh, in business products. Uh, it has a touchscreen, anti glare, which is why you can't uh, see my camera in the in the reflection there. Um, the keyboard, I I love Lenovo's ThinkPad keyboards, and that's why. I love ThinkPads in general. If they're, they're my laptops of choice because the keyboards just feel so comfortable to type on, and and that's obviously something that's important to me since I write a lot of articles. Uh, fingerprint sensor for Windows Hello. Now, um, a lot of Lenovo's new ThinkPads offer facial recognition. The thing is, they haven't included facial recognition and the privacy guard on the same model. So on devices like the X1 Carbon, you have a choice between facial recognition and that privacy guard. And um, hopefully that's something they work out with the next generation of this stuff. So this machine comes in at between 17.4 and 17.8 millimeters thick. Um, obviously it's meant to be very portable because it is pretty light. Um, it, it can get around. So if you look at the ports over here, we have a USB 3.1 Type-C port, a Thunderbolt 3 port. So we can see there are two Type-C ports here. One is Thunderbolt 3, one is USB 3.1. Now, the spec sheet that they sent me didn't say if it was 3.1 Gen 1 or if it was 3.1 Gen 2. And the difference between that would be 5 gigabits per second and 10 gigabits per second. Uh, Thunderbolt 3, though, is 40 gigabits per second. All right, the Type-A port is USB 3.0. Uh, HDMI 1.4, 3.5 millimeter audio input output jack, and uh, we do have a networking port here, which can be used with an adapter. Okay, on this side we have another USB 3.0 Type A port and a smart card reader. Okay, so that's the uh, ThinkPad X280. We can see that it still includes the older ThinkPad branding. Um, on the new X1 models, it's kind of a, a chrome. ThinkPad look, and Lenovo's actually pretty proud of that branding. And of course, it's an X1, so it has this new X1 branding over here instead of the Lenovo logo. And um, I mean, that's about it. Lenovo was pretty proud of that that new ThinkPad branding on its flagship, so I, I get why it didn't happen because these were announced probably about a week before the X1s. And um, what this really seems like, though, is just a, a kind of a smaller version of the ThinkPad X1 Carbon. It's um. I mean, like I said, 12.5-inch display instead of a 14-inch display. It's around the same weight, um, a little bit thicker, and um, and that's about all it is. There, there are a lot of ThinkPads on the market. Like I said, um, they announce you know close to a dozen of these at CES every year. So um, a lot of them are s smaller variances of the others. Like for example, last year I reviewed the ThinkPad X1 Yoga, which is the 360 degree convertible, and then I reviewed the ThinkPad 370, which was almost identical to the X1 Yoga, except it had a 13.3 inch display uh, instead of a 14 inch display, and maybe a few, you know, fewer ports. But um, yeah, that's great, because another thing that I love about uh, the ThinkPad lineup is that they do have lots of ports. Uh, two USB Type-A ports, two Type-C ports, and I don't see myself uh, running out and wishing I had an extra one, because that does happen on some machines that only have one Type-A port or something. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'll have a review in a few weeks, and um, should be pretty good. I'm Richard Neowin. Have a great night.